Hiya, and welcome to Tights TV. Today I've got Dale on with us. It's been a been a, a while like because it's first like well, we've only just played his first uh, league game uh, at weekend. So we're gonna have a bit of a talk about that. I'm gonna be uh, previewing uh, not as far as game a game that we won at games that got cancelled earlier on due to COVID on uh, not as far as camps and that like. So welcome along, Dale. Um, Good mate, thank you. What's your Thank take you. on Birmingham game at week and mate? Because nobody's really said out, so I'll just get your thoughts on that. Um, it's another defeat, isn't it, mate? It, it's, yeah. um, I mean, um, it, it's same old, same old stories, really, isn't it? Mm. Um, I didn't go to the game, mm. um, but I heard that it it were a, a, just another Barnsley. 2021-22 season performance, mate. Um, I'm pleased for Victor to get on the score sheet. Um, but once again, it, too little, too late. Um, but it, it's just, again, Neil, it's just, it's not good enough. You know what I mean? Um, the, the players are out of the depth. Um and it's time now that something changes off the field and on the field because we need we need we need transfers in, mate. We need we need players. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I'm not nothing against Victor, but he's not good enough. Mm. He's not good enough for for Birmingham away. He's not good enough for Forest away. You know what I mean. Yeah, it can nick him with one or two goals a season, but it's not the tw- it's not the twenty or twenty five goals a season striker that we're looking for. Um, it's not. It's the upsetting thing is is that Derby are now above us. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that could have that. That for me, that couldn't have happened, in my opinion, because now that, that uh, yeah, they lost at weekend derby, but it's a derby game, mm. you know, they lost to Forest. Um, that for me, that couldn't have happened for us this season, mm. letting derby overtake us. Um, I mean, it proves that the squad in, in together, yeah, it's it, it so unbalanced that, as well. So unbalanced yeah. and disjointed, isn't it? Um, yeah. I, I, I've rewatched game back and stuff. I've well, stuff I've seen or stuff I didn't see. To be fair, Poy on sidelines don't look animated. Just like stuff veer, and it, it just looks like Archer's depth. Um, you look at players. It'd be interesting to know as well. From on my part, on, on my point, I know we're saying with COVID in Barnsley camp, we're saying we've got players out, but I'd like to have known how many. What, I'd got the COVID issue or how many just been left out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Sibic, he have not featured, but has he, did he have COVID or were he just left out because he's going elsewhere? We um, don't know, do we? No, again, it's not coming out of club, is there? And it's it good, it good to see young ones on, you know, like you, uh, Aidan Marsh and and that, and uh, Thompson, you know, young ones yes. on bench. But at this point of season, to be fair, pff, like you've just said, via 20 odd days into the season, We've got nobody coming in. We need leaders coming in. We need people to come in and, like, you know, get a bit scruffed at neck. And I know there's, like, stuff going about saying that all these players have been linked or rumoured to be us and other teams are involved. And it's like, I'm thinking, well, would you want to be coming into Barnsley in no end situation via, or would you want to go to a Derby, or would you want to go to a Preston or an Oxford or like that? Because you look at them options via, you think, well, why should I go to Barnsley for in their dire straits? When I could go to a derby, oh, like you've just said, via the recent wins and the momentum's via. We, we, we just seem to be unbalanced, disjointed. It's and it's the same old thing again. And it's like sometimes it sounds like like you're repeating it all the time, but it's it'd be nice for him to, for us to come on and say, you know what, we played XYZ played in this position, and it, it, that looks comfortable for him, but you know. Against next game, he's not going to be there. I mean, you look at yeah. Vita, had he got COVID? Anti got COVID. You know, so it's 
you look at players who were missing, Allaire, we all know that Allaire's only probably on his way out. So as he got COVID, he's just been left out. You know, and one of the things like you've just said, Vera and all, Derby, they're on, they're on a run. It's knocking our confidence. And yeah, Vales against Not Forest, we're going to be, this is what we're going to be previewing against Not Forest. Can we honestly say what <laughs> we're going to get a good to Not Forest and get a result there? Yeah. I can't see, to be fair, I can't see where his next league win's going to be coming from when you look at fixtures coming up. And that's the worrying thing for me, Dale. Yeah. Like, well, like you said, um, it's. Uh, d- d- for me, we're in a worse position than what they are. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, if I upset anybody by saying that, uh, fair enough, but I'm sorry, but we are. I mean, you look at Birmingham, they were having protests and all at the same time, you know, against hmm. their owners, obviously certain, you know, different issues about not, you know, letting the club go into the state of disrepair and stuff. So it's like, what well, two teams, they're probably going, you know, both down in confidence, but when you look at their manager Lee Bowyer, how much determined and how much he was wanting for win, and this is yeah. where I'm on about is that you've got certain and people will keep on going on about experience and that, but when you've got leaders and you've got football people that actually know what it takes to, and then you look at ours, and it's like where we're going to get it from. Where's his, where does leader on that pitch, you know, mm-hmm. and that, times like this, it, it's just. Yeah, I just can't see where it's going to be coming from. And I know people will be saying, oh, it's all negative and it's all with sub points to play for. But if anybody can tell me where we're going to get at least three wins just to break even, not to get out of that one free, three wins just to bring us back in contention, then you tell me where we're going to win his games against next six. So his next six fixtures, if you want to leave your comments in below, the next six fixtures, you tell me where we're going to get three wins out of them. Bearing in mind, we're going to latter end of a genuine transfer window and we've got no players coming well, I cannot next, see it there's next three fixtures is Forest, Bournemouth and Cardiff two of them two of them are at home that's what I'm on about and Cardiff Cardiff are going to want it when you can see them turning up and doing a job do we do we do we hope for a cup <clears> run <throat> you know what I mean do we do we do we hope for a good cup run I mean is that all we've got now? A cup, a, a, a decent cup run, you know. I, to be fair, I'd be wanting wins in the league, um, and people will say, yeah, but you know, it's get a good cup run and it gets confidence. This other, but we played against Barrow, against ten men for the best part, and we we just got through that. And did we take any confidence from that into his next game? No, no. not really, not really. No. It's just it's just another fixture, and it's another fixture pile up backlog. I mean, we've got, you know, uh, we got mentioned in press how many games we've got coming up in the next so many weeks. And you, you can see, and if we don't add to our squad, let alone team, add to the squad, you can see us game picking up more injuries. You know what I mean? Wood draws out. He's off to come back a bit earlier than expected. But again, we're going back to the same thing, like I mentioned to look over a week. We're hoping that it's going to go our way. We're hoping that players are going to come in. It shouldn't be open at this state. You know what I mean? It should be coming in and actually making a difference. Yeah. Um, I, I I don't see Coley Woodrow playing for a, in a Barnsley shirt ever again, in my opinion. I think if he does come back in, in a Barnsley shirt, I think it'll be for like stages. I can't see him coming back anytime soon. I, I can't, yeah. I'd be very, very surprised if he turns back in February. Very surprised, you know, because yeah. the rumours going about it's going to be out for 12 weeks. But again, we don't know the extent of his operation. We don't know how his recovery is going. We didn't, we didn't even know about his operation. We didn't even know about his injury until a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Um, it's it was like, no surprise there, though, was it? Because no, we had all that scenario when Ventil Belden last came in, it was fitness, 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 and then it turned out to have visa issues. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, Remy Vita, he played mm-hmm. phenomenally against Barra. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Barra, it's League Two, it's an FA Cup, but he he actually showed me that there's a little bit of quality. Mm-hmm. We've actually got a player there with a bit of quality in him, and he's, he weren't even in starting. He weren't even in squad on no. Saturday. No, I mean, wh- where is he? Mm. You know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we go back to players that, for me, we need six out twelve in. Yeah, 
You know what I mean, Neil? It's looking like a rebuild job again, isn't it, at this, at this moment in time? And it's people like, and I know people be coming on and be saying, oh, yeah, but we're still points to play from this other hand. I, I get that. I can see points what is left to play for. But you're looking at the team, the squad we've got now. We, we want him, we want him things to happen, positive things to happen on off the pitch for it to come onto the pitch. But when yeah. there's all this stuff going off at pitch, it's having a knock on effect on pitch. I'm not bothered what anybody says, is that the players, the majority of players are what we were people say I've achieved in that last season, but players what were there. But when you, you take it full circle and then it comes down to more or less 12 months later, we were fighting to get into playoffs. Now we're fighting to get out of relegation when you look about it. And 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 there's and there's no points deduction to save us this season. Exactly. It's done. Where we Is are it? now, where we are now. So yeah. it's 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 down to us. But then it's down to us. And then you're looking and you're thinking, well, we're hoping that Derby don't win against this. So now we're hoping that other teams are not going to win. Be dependent on other teams. So we could win a game and then they win a game. It don't feel like a win because we haven't gained anyway. We just we're just even all the time, aren't we? Yeah. So that's one thing for me. So not Forest, uh, Dale, I mean Steve Cooper's gone in. And, we know what his Cooper's like, but what, what we like at Swansea, don't we? So yeah, you look what he's done there. He's took very much scruff at neck, and I think he's done a great job. Uh, yes, yeah, like I say, yeah, he relayed in transfer when he's gone in, took it with scruff at neck, and it just goes to show a manager that knows the league and not and understands the situation what it takes to get points in this league. It can be done, can't it? And and he has the the e word as well in his squad. You know, yeah. the famous E word that we all mention in yeah. his in his squad. He has about six of them. And leaders as well. You can see leaders on pitch, can't you? Fighting for one another. Determined. Yeah. I yeah. mean they'll be on they'll be on a high after beating Derby. Oh. Major. Major. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'll proper be up for it, Bam. And like I said, we know why does I'll be structured Cooper with what he did at Swansea we was in playoffs. Mm. He knows what it takes. He knows what and but this is and people, again, will come on and say, oh, yeah, but it's not guaranteed and it's not over. But you look at shop, you look at Poyer. Poyer is just like a mirror image, uh, a shop, to be fair. You know, he hasn't won a game and people say, yeah, won against Barrow, but he hasn't won a game in 90 minutes. He hasn't won in league. It's the league, it, you know. It's the, the league's our main concern, mm. Neil. Um, yeah. But I saw there were, a, there were a, I think there were, a, I, wore, I watched... Nottingham Forest game, mm. and there were a statistic about um, Lewis Graben. I think he's like the the fifth highest goal scorer in Championship history, right? Behind Billy Sharp, um, behind a couple more players, we had like one hundred and twenty odd goals. And you know what I mean? Mm. Is that's not that's not. It's it's like it's over a. I think I think he, I don't think he's ever been in. Has he been in Premier League? I think he has been in Premier League. I, I think, think he's, with Villa. Yeah, yeah, early, early, or early. Norwich, Norwich or something like that, mm. weren't he? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he's one. I think he's in top five top goal scorers in Championship history. So we've got him to deal with mm. on Tuesday. Um, we've got. <sighs> Bryce Samber in goal. He he took a massive knock though on Saturday. Um, mm. it, the, the Joe Worrell. Uh, they've got all. They've got every. You we've know, got, we've got options all over, haven't we? And it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you're looking at us. I don't know how many players are going to be back. And, uh, I haven't seen no time many players are going to be back from COVID or whatever. But there's no signs of adding from transfer window. So another another. Well, I, I, they said though they said that they're on about getting people in, but late on, I, mm. I saw that. I saw that from a statement somewhere on on website or Chronicle or whatever. Mm. And they said that um, it's good. There's, there's going to be signings apparently, um, but it's going to be late on in winter. And I mean, it's there's seven days left. How late? Gonna, how late do you want it? I was going to say, do you think it's going to be too little, too late? Yeah. And it's going to be desperation to get these players in, or have you identified them, sort of stuff out? But when I were hearing and looking at 
uh, watching the CEO comments last week and that <clears throat> he run about window, run about transfers and caps and stuff like that, which I totally get back. I totally get back mm-hmm. 15 grand about look, we all understand about business and but you're not telling me that you look at such as like your Lutons and your uh, your Prestons, they can go out and get them as similar players. It's not going to be breaking their financial restraints. And we're more or less a similar model to Luton and that. You know what I mean? With regards to the, uh, the fan base, if you know what I mean. Mm. So you're not telling me that you can't go out and do that. It's a matter of going out and making an attempt. And yeah, but you're going to, it's going to use an example like, uh, I think you, you got brought up about a manager. Oh, we've been inquiring about English Championship manager, but they wanted £1.2 million in their salary for a year. It won't be for everybody, but they use that as, an, as a top-end thing, as if to say, see, that's why we can't do it for. Yeah, but I'm sure if you go negotiate and come back down, you know, it's like hotels. You, you don't always pay the asking price. If a manager's desperate and wants to come in and get his own back in the game, you know, you can't keep shopping yeah. at... Mark Spencer's all the time. Now and again, you're going to be shopping at uh, you know, your cheaper Aldi or something. So it, you, there's, there's an upper medium somewhere, you know. But again, if, if that's the situation with regards to players, but we're going to be having to want players what's going to come in and not be like this last seven, six or seven players we brought in in summer, they need to be coming in and actually starting to make a difference. Players we brought in in summer, they're in and out, in and out, in and out. There's not one, you know, Managed to cement his place down. You know, Benson's mm-hmm. been in and out. Vita's been in and out. You know, Gomez in and out. So players we brought in is, is Aka, Belair, Cole. Every, every one of them players you, you look at, not one's come in and they're starting regular, regular, regular. Um, and that, and that, um, um, I, there's, there's something about Alaria that people, a lot of people saying that he's a donkey and he's mm. just a dead weight, but... It, he hadn't had the time. He hadn't, you know, he hadn't had the time to... It could be a case being mismanaged as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and the same with Devante Cole. I, I never... I, I, when I saw that signing, I thought, oh, sh- with, why? You know, a, qu- why, a, question, why? a question for you, Vendel, right? Bear in mind, you just mentioned two players there, like right? uh, Cole and Alari. Do you think if Ishmael had been here, He'd have made them a different kind of player, because I do. I, I think do. I think he'd got the best out of them players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he'd got the but best out of them players. I, I, I think, I think it, they would have been fit for one. Yeah, I think physically, mentally, um, I th- we'll never know. Mm. We'll, ne- we'll never know. I'm but... just relating it back to what he did with Sibic last year Sibic. when he put Sibic in and Anderson and yeah, he's. What I saw in Ishmael were a more man manager, arm right shoulder approach and talk to player. Uh, Mowit, yep. you know, same with Mowit. He, he had, he had, yep. When Ishmael came in, he identified players what he, what he had, what he got, and he got the best out of them players, which I think the players at the moment now, they're, they're lost. They're wanting some kind of it, arm right shoulder and, a, the, you know. The, work, the working with an under 21 manager. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Is is, you know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah. Just because just because he works with kids, doesn't mean he's he's going to work well with adults. No. You know what I mean? No. And I know. We, I know. We, we haven't got many of them. We haven't got many adults in our team. Mm. The the mainly mostly kids. Yeah. But we need that adult mm. in his squad now. We, we need that adult manager. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what I mean. It's we, it's to identify it and get an arm right our shoulder, a few like, words of comfort. When things are going bad for you, you want someone there to. At minute, we're we're, in, we're still we're still in nursery stage. We're still in nursery. <laughs> yeah. We need we need to get up to second. We need to get up to college or mm. university. Mm. You know what I mean. We're still in kindergarten. Yeah. It, it, it's it's pathetic, Neil. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. And, and it's not against us. It's not against whatever his name is, manager. I don't no, know. Whatever his no, name no, is. no, no, no. It's not against him, but it's. I mean, look at Steve Cooper. You know what I mean? Look at. Um, I mean, he went Wayne Rooney for starters. Mm-hmm. But look what it look look at look at who he's worked under. Yeah. Sir Alex Ferguson. You pick up your own bits and bobs and ideas, and you you 
take it on board and do what you send, don't you? So yeah. you, you have a mentor, yeah, you yeah. look up to that kind of person. And yeah. you like, I, I totally get where you're coming from with Poyer as well, is that although whichever manager comes in, they need backing and mm-hmm. shop didn't get backed in summer. Poyer, it looks like he's going to get backed at lastminute.com at the end of this month. So it's it's like you, you can't, you've, you've got to be good tools to work with. If you can't just like say, right, here you go, take over this and get on with it. If it works, very, very lucky. Ishmael came in and we got battered a few times when he first came in. He altered the style of play, he altered with players and he, got, he took it on board. But for me, Poyer's come in from a uh, shop and bearing in mind that Poyer always prefers playing four at back, four, two, three, one or a four, three, whatever he does. He'd been having to tinker about because the squad has never been uh, recruited in that way. It's always been recruited as playing a three at back. I, so, I like that. To be fair, I like four at back. Yeah, I don't. I, 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 I like four at back, but it's got to be it's got to be protected by that four in midfield. Mm. You've got to have that box to box midfielder, and you've also got to have a, an attacking midfielder or a or a defensive midfielder. You can't have two defensive midfielders in that four in midfield well, because that's what Palmer Styles is used to being in defence last season. Yeah, so he's still got to find his feet in in that midfield role. I get where but, he's, he's trying to get Styles that link up play. I get that. I get that point there. But then when you look behind him, what's he got in there is a ball winning midfielder. He hasn't got. He hasn't got a Moit. He hasn't got a Matty James. I, 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 think Cal- I think Callum Styles needs to play a little bit further forward. Yeah, play him, play play him as an attacking midfielder and play Palmer possibly Benson. Or Palmer and Hondemark, or Hondemark and Benson. Hondemark, yeah. Another one who's not getting out. For me, starting, he should start me. Yeah. Hondemark. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a no-brainer. But again, we, you know, managers seeing something different. But I get where, you know, they're trying to get Styles as that link-up player. Because for me, is people say, oh, yeah, it's all team, what's all thing, what's uh, all like shit and that. But you look at the midfield, if you've got a weak midfield, you defend some under pressure. But then, if you've got a weak midfield and there's no link up play, you, you're attacked under pressure. So it's pivotal. You spine at team, there's not there because you look at your midfield, you'll know if there's Benson been in and out, if there's Palmer been in and out, it's everybody in his, his dog. Moon's been in, in and out at midfield. It's like always oh, his midfield pairing. We don't know. We don't even know what system we're playing here. We are Palmer's, his... Do you know what Palmer, Palmer's been very lucky this season? Well, he's out of contract to end of season, isn't he? He's out of contract to end of season. Yeah. He's been very poor. And I it, think he's been he's been lucky to start the amount of games that he has done. I think all the reason he started is but there's been no real competition around him, to be fair. No. And I think and that's why he started. And it's not fair, it's not fair on Palmer because he's getting stick for it. Same as Moon. Yeah. You know, we, we saw Palmer last season, he was sensational. Different yeah, there were odd, yeah. there were odd hiccup here and there, but that's his age. But you look you know? who his partner were in midfield, Moe. Yeah, yeah, Moe and Styles weren't it really? So you, you know, it's it's key. You take certain players out, certain in, in, influential players out, and it is not going to affect. And this is where we are. I don't think we need in this this summer. With well, this sorry, this uh, window. I don't, we don't need. I don't think we need a striker. I don't think a striker is needed because I think I think Morris he needs to he needs to start stepping up and getting goals. You I know? think he needs to be played up front rather than being out on, on wing or on left. I think playing more yeah. central. Yeah, you've got Cole, you've got a Seca, you've got Alare. I think Alare will go in this window. Yeah. I mean, you've got you, you Woodrow when he ever comes back. Do you know what? I'd, I'd like to see ever go. Young Aidan Marsh. Hmm? <laughs> if you're not bench, I'd give him a go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I think yeah. him, that's one of the reasons why Devane is coming for, because he knows under 23s. Ackroyd, he came on against Barrow. And it's he, like, do you know what? He looked well. He, 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 do you know what? He looked more. He looked uh, more accomplished and more. Yeah. Uh, he looked more grown up. Come on. Yeah. He and I'm thinking. I would rather them look a, abroad or whatever for a, a young unknown, what we don't even know about. I'd rather look at 
under 23 is what we've got. Mm-hmm. And I tell you something, I, I bet you hope he's come in and, and been fake fought badge because it's fair town. Young Ackroyd and Marsh. They'd be like, what What we've got to lose now? What have we got to lose? Give him a go. And it's probably, some people might agree and think, ah, yeah, but you'll burn them out. And I said, but my, my reaction well, beyond that is you never know and give him a try. Look at last season. They were fit as a fiddle last season. Yeah. Palmer, Anderson, Sibic, uh, Styles, Jordan Williams, all of them were under 20 odd mm. last season. Britain, yeah. All fitness Britain. and that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's all Bruce. about the mentality, it's all about the physicality. And it's, it's I said from, and I'm, I'm to be fair, I'm sick of saying it. I'm, I said at the start of the season, I think I said it to either you, Dave, whoever it was, hmm. that last season was all about not having the crowd there last season. Hmm. That's why, I, in my opinion, that's why they were so successful last season. Hmm. Yeah, we played really well. We played attacking football. We had a good manager. We had decent players. But the pressure that these young lads are under this season is a hundred times worse mm. than last season. Mm. Once that first defeat, then second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth defeat comes, then the fans start, and then it, it takes it takes an effect on you. Yeah, I'd it like to. It's a massive effect. I'd like to see Ishmael still here for this season to see what kind of tune it had been getting out of these players. And I'd, I'd have, my own opinion is, is that I think we'd have been in top 10. I think we'd have been in top 10. I think, I think we would have been, I think we would have been mid-table higher. Mm. I don't, I don't think, I don't think we'd be in top 10. I don't, mm. I don't, I don't. I think we'd be at mid-table, I think we'd be mid-table higher. Mm. Uh, just because, I think we didn't. We we haven't got those influential players that we had last season. Of Mawa, Saul Bauer, um, DK. Yeah. Um, I think I think we'd be mid table. Mm. I, 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 I think we'd be in a lot better position. Oh yeah, we'd be in a lot better position now, haven't we? <laughs> definitely, definitely, mate. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. again, going to not for this game. Uh, going to be wrapping it up now. Uh, Depending on what players we've got, what what can you see score being, Dale? Because well, well, I, I'm going. I, I, I'm mm. part at look. I'm part at lucky lot that's going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, or unlucky, or lucky. It depends uh, what you look at, here, mate. Not to be fair, Neil. I haven't been since Barra, and I, do you know what? I'm I'm look. I'm I'm looking forward to it because yeah. Barnsley Football Club. It's my team. That I'm, yeah. I said, Luke, I said to Luke other 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 day. I said to Luke other day. I want to support my football club. Yeah. The football club that I've been supporting for 20 years. Yeah. I want to support that. I want to support my, the badge. Yeah. Support, the shirt. Been supporting since we, well, I mean, I'm 50, but uh, supporting <laughs> since, uh, you know, yeah. since being uh, able to go in on Brewery and on a crate watching of it, you know, so it's our club and it? it's the players and, you know, you support your club. No matter it's the what. players that I'm, it's the players that I'm supporting. It's yeah. not it's not anybody else that I'm yeah. supporting. Yeah. Um. Forget about everything else. What's, yeah. Forget about everything else. Yeah. But it, it's those. We'll players still be that we here need to support. D- 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 don't matter who manager or what kind of boards we have. I mean, I remember when it was uh, John. Uh, well, John Dennis, but his dad. I, I remember mm-hmm. donkeys years back then. So. Board will come and go. You go through administration. You go all through eyes and laws. So, you know, in and out, all of them upstairs, they'll come and go. But yeah. club will still be here for us fans, and that's what yeah, we're yeah. supporting our club in it. So I get yeah. where you're coming from with that, mate. But yeah. but we but as far as Forest is going, I think we need to start off well. Yeah, I think I think we need to score first, especially being away from home. Put yeah. a little bit of pressure on Forest. Um. We've got to remember that they were down where we were at start of season. Yeah, they were. Yeah. So any any you know anything can anything can one goal from us could 
and it's that and it's that mentality. We've got to keep his mentality up. We've got to if they score, we've just got to say, yeah. Or else we've got to, right we've got to we, yeah. Um, I, I wanna I wanna say a win. Mm. I really do. I ain't seen us win this season mm. apart from Barra. I ain't seen us win in league. Mm. I've seen Peniston Church win more times than I've seen <laughs> B- Barnsley Football Club, to be fair, mate. But um, um, I want if I had to pick a starting eleven, it'd be Collins. I hope Vita's back. Mm. So he'd start at left back. Um, it'll be Helic. It'll be Anderson. It'll be Britain. It'll be. Uh, or would I play Britain a little bit further up and play Jordan Williams? Mm, options, yeah. I'd, I'd, in my opinion, I, I would play. I would play Jordan Williams. I play Britain on on right. Mm. I, I'd, I'd play a four four two. Yeah. Um, I'd play Britain on right because he likes to get forward. I think his defensive ability isn't as good as Jordan Williams. Mm. Um, so. I'd like to start Britain on right. Um, I'd go Honda Mark and Styles. Um, I would go on left. Now nah, this is it's whoever whoever's available for left hand side. To be fair, um, what would I play on left? I would play possibly a Seca, mm. possibly on left. And then two up top, I'd probably play Morrison. I'd I'd keep Adibay Asia in because he'll be he'll be a bit of confidence in his head and that he's yeah. got a goal on Saturday. I think he'll uh, start Adibay Asia when he's scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think keep keep his keep his positivity up. Um, keep call. I feel I feel sorry for him a little bit because mm. the efforts there. Mm. It's just once again the quality and yeah. Um, I, th- I think keep call on for his pace, um, on bench for his pace, probably be in second half because um, Adebayo does slow up. Yeah, he's not, he's not the pacey player that um, that Cole is. Is more strength and digging in and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So Cole and Morris for me, um, and I see oh, we can't lose Neil. We can't afford to lose, especially with Bournemouth coming up. Yeah. Um, am I naive in saying one apiece? Oh, I want us to win. Um, so I'll go. I'll go. I'll go one apiece. I'm going to say that as well. One apiece. I just feel that I want to win. Obviously, we want to win every game as Bound fans. But when you look at the the win situation, you look at the Notts Forest are there playing, you look on our situation, players might be coming back from COVID, so it might be a bit more of a stronger, not just t- uh, team lineup, but bench as well, all being well. But then, then again, I still like to see it, and like the brush one before, and a Marsh or an Ackroyd to come on, uh, give them experience around this team squad. Uh, Devane is there, so he'll, he'll understand. He'll, Devane will know what it means to to club. Uh, my squad. I'm, I'm saying one apiece, but I've got you know it's, that's probably me out by me head to be fair. But I've just got a feeling that Forest could nick it two one. But I'd want to win two one. And like you said, I think it's important us to get for score because I've, I've I just can see it. We, we concede one note down, and then it's like all the onus and pressure back on us. I was just going to get a goal just to bring bring us back into the game, let alone go for a win. You know what I mean? So it's that uphill challenge again, especially Forest. Uh, I'm going for one apiece like you, Dale, but I've just got a, a feeling that, you know, Forest probably nick it 2-1. You know what I mean? But, it's, but that's, it's, his, that's his mentality though, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's his mentality of the season and look I hope we go out as well as you do and all everybody else while watching I hope we go out and you know Barnsley win 3-4 no clean sheet come back and roll on mm. but, but but in reality you know what I mean if that happens I think I'll put winning lottery numbers on but uh, <laughs> it's it's all about you know what can happen but 
when you look at lads what are trying and you you look at confidence what's not there and it's just game back momentum going. Uh, so I, I'm going I, from that pace. I, I don't know what his head to head is against Forest. I don't know what it's like. Uh, let's have a look. Bear with me. I mean, we've got seven wins to their six mm. and five and five draws. Um, so that's 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 like head to head. So that's when what last time we we beat Forest at their ground was. 2017. We last bet Forest at their ground. So would you throw in there then? Might might it might start this time then? That with that Hurahan last minute. He was a screamer about one it, eh? Yeah. A screamer. <laughs> yeah, I'd take that all Those day. Long. Yeah, Those I'd take that all day. Long. Yeah. But listen, I, I I'm going. I'm yep. gonna show my support. I'm gonna, you know, I just I just hope everybody else shows the support for for, for players, not for anybody else. Um, I think the world, though, I think fans appreciate what players are doing and the situation that they're in. Um, and, you know, it's the players don't want to lose. The players don't want to lose. But when you're looking at everything, what's going off around them, it's an hard enough job as it is for players to get us out of this situation where we are all off-field things with what's happening for, for them as well. Um, yeah. So I think all fans, I think all fans will get behind the team uh, for players because, like you say, it's our club, and no matter who comes and goes, it'll, the club will always be there for us when we, you know, for us to go and attend and watch games. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I, fan, fan, fans, uh, fans are frustrated and they do, you know, the watch my words, but I'm going to say yeah, but the frustrated on what's happening. That's what yep. I can say, and rightly so, rightly so. Yeah. But as regards team and effort that lads will put in, they'll be behind them hundred and ten percent on that, hundred and ten percent from that. So mm-hmm. before people start saying support your team and support your club, we we always do, we always do. But with things what's happening above them, that's <clears> a different matter, and you'll all have your own opinions about it. If you do comment, just be respectful. Everybody's got their own opinions. Just be respectful because that's all what we ask for. We haven't slated anybody. We haven't named anybody. We haven't done not like that. We've been res- respectful. It's our opinion. You might agree, disagree, but all we ask in return, if you want to leave a comment, please do. We'll just keep it respectful, bearing in mind what we've, you know, we're wanting our club to do uh, well. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Anyway. Yeah, 100%. So please like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. I know you're busy with work and everything like that. So we uh, I'll be well. We can have three points against Forest. Um, we've, got, so. we've got we've got to keep dreaming. We've got to be. We've got to keep. keep it, haven't we? So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, comments, and all that normal stuff. What we keep saying, uh, you were heads.